God's direction. Let's go straight to the Gospel of John. The Gospel of John chapter 11. And we are going to take our reading from verses 17. And then we are going to jump to verses 40 up to 42. The Gospel of John chapter 11. And I read verses 17. The word of God reads. Then when Jesus came, he found that he had leaned in the grave. For four days already. Verses 40. Jesus said unto her. Said I not unto you. That if. Thou wouldest believe. Thou wouldest see the glory of the Lord. Then they took away the stone from the place. Where the dead was laid. And Jesus lifted up his eyes. And said, Father, I thank you that thou hast heard me. And I knew that thou hearest me always. But because of the people which stand by I, said it, that they may believe that thou hast sent me. Hallelujah. I repeat this as 43. And I knew that thou hearest me always. But because of the people which are standing by me, as I said it, that they may believe that you have sent me. I have paraphrased. Hallelujah. Let's pause in the word of prayer. A dear Heavenly Father. We want to say thank you, especially on this blessed Sunday. The Sunday that we are not only observing, but we are part and parcel of prayers concerning our land, Zambia. We want to say thank you, Father. That truly God, when we look at where we have come from, it all shows how good and wonderful you have always been. You have favored our land. You gave victory to our forefathers. By gaining independence. And we as a seed. We continue appreciating the victory you gave to our land. Thank you for planting us in the land called Zambia. The land that is full of peace. And the total tranquility of love. The land whose bed flies above every trouble. In the name of an eagle. And again we sow. Higher above every challenge of our lives. With your help oh God all things are possible. We thank you God of Elijah. We thank you God of senior prophet T.B. Joshua. We thank you God of Emmanuel. You are God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. We appreciate you, our God. That truly we shall possess our possession. According to Abadiah 17. That yes, on Mount Zion. There shall be deliverance and holiness. And the house of Jacob shall possess its possession. We want to say thank you, Father. That we have not assembled in the physical. Yes, we may look in the physical but our assembling is more to do with spiritual because our help only comes from our heart you God you have been faithful to us you have been faithful to our land you have been faithful to our families you have been faithful to everything that you have given to us yet again we come before you because we know you are the only answer you are the only hope you are the only everything that we have so be able, O oh God, to run and take your fullness. And bless the ministration of your word. Anoint my lips of clay. That I speak not only that which is influenced by the angels. But that which is, has a backing also of the heavenly realm. Thank you, Father, for the victory. And may somebody who knows why they are here be able to shout a louder amen. A louder amen. 
the stronger amen hallelujah God is good and all the times truly his nature is always being a good God and he always remains to be a good God the passage that we are just from uh, reading coming from the gospel of John chapter 11 and uh, verses 17 and also verse, seven, verse 40 to 42 it is the story that we are all of us so much familiar with the story of Lazarus that Lazarus by the time that he was sick his family so much wanted Jesus Christ to be there because they knew that Jesus was the best friend of Lazarus but Jesus Christ never arrived at the time that the family members wanted him to arrive so eventually Lazarus he stayed and I believe they were waiting patiently that before we can bury Lazarus his dear good friend he will be able to show up but unfortunately Jesus still never showed up they proceeded with the procession of burial program and they buried Jesus. I mean, they buried Lazarus. And as Lazarus was buried, the Bible tells us that four days had passed. And Lazarus is in the state of now stinking, meaning that every family member has forgotten about having hope of Jesus Christ coming. Whether Jesus Christ came or not coming is not going to add any, any value. There's nothing that is going to change. But lo and behold, Jesus shows up. <laughs> and as Jesus shows up, they began explaining the story to him. It was like this and that and this and that. And then he, he asked them to say, where have you buried him? Of course, they showed him where they buried Lazarus. And Jesus went there. Now, this is a catching of the sermon of today. He began by thanking his heavenly father. He began by appreciating him. He said, my father, I thank you. That when I pray, you hear me. But for the sake of these people, do it. And he instructed them. Roll the stone away. They rolled the stone away. And he called Lazarus to come back forth to life. And Lazarus, as we all know, he came back to life. On this faith today, I want to speak to you on the subject of the message I have entitled, The Secret of Gratitude. The Secret of Gratitude. Or the Mystery of Gratitude. If you want to go deeper with the terminology. There is good secret in the heart that is full of gratitude. In the heart that is full of thanksgiving. There is always God's secret in that heart. There is always God's breakthroughs in that heart. Jesus never started the issue by complaining. He lifted up his eyes and he began thanking God. And when you look at the situation, there was no reason for him even to begin to thank God because Lazarus is already dead and the man is already stinking. But Jesus' attitude here touches my heart. The man starts by appreciating his father. He said, Father, I thank you that when I pray, you hear me. Beloved, most of the times, when we are, we, we are going through issues or we are trusting God for something and that something seems to delay to come, we do not go ahead appreciating God. The language that enters in our mouth is a language of murmuring and complaining. That was not the language of Jesus. His language was full of gratitude. He developed a habit and that is who he was. A man full of gratitude. I want to pose to you this challenge again. 
do you have a heart that is full of gratitude? Are you appreciating God? Are you happy? And are you still saying, Father, I thank you for creating me the way I am? It starts from there. Before we can look for God giving us the answers. Have we gone to what God has already done in our lives? Are we appreciating him for what he's already done in our lives? As much as you and me, we are looking for another breakthrough. But what about that breakthrough that Jesus gave us yesterday? What about that answer that God gave us yesterday? What about the victorious life that we lived yesterday? Why should we easily forget the doings of the Lord? We need to develop the habit of gratitude. Hallelujah. Because those who have gratitude in their hearts will be given more reasons to be grateful. If God sees that you are a person who is always thankful of him, you are grateful of what God has done in your life, then God will even give you more. So that you can continue having more reasons of you being grateful of him. Do you know the time of being grateful? It is a time when you are going through pain. It is a time when the answer seems not to be there. It is a time when you have lost direction. That's a time to say, Father, I thank you. In case you are here, you are trusting God for a baby. The time to thank God is not when you are holding a baby. As much as you should do that. But the time to thank him the more, it is when you have no baby in your hands and you say, Father, thank you for my baby boy. And when people look around, where is that boy? Where is that baby? And people begin to think you are mad. And they may not know that you are only expressing the heart of gratitude. Hallelujah. Why is gratitude so important? Gratitude is what helps you to maintain God's breakthrough. God's testimony. A person who is not grateful will even lose what they have in their hands. A person who is grateful, they cannot lose what they have. Because gratitude is a medicine to the maintenance of your breakthrough. Hallelujah. Unfortunately, we are living in a world where people are not grateful of everything. Do something good to them today. Tomorrow they will turn against you and insult you. Even Jesus Christ that really fed them, they still crucified him. The sign that we are not grateful. But I came to speak to you. Develop the heart of gratitude. Be it in many things or little things. See how you can be grateful to God. Hallelujah. in the mouth. Jesus is going to touch her. Jesus is going to heal her in her own eyes. In the name of Jesus Christ, touch her and deliver her. Heal her in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. this painful 
soles of the feet in the right leg. Now prophetically, what is the problem here? What is the issue here? How did this happen? How did this come about? Are we together? Where you are staying? Where you are staying? When you enter like this, to the right side, it's there, just right there. There is something that was thrown there, and you also pass through there, and as you pass through there, you felt like a needle pricking you. From there, this pain now is unbearable. Okay? Kilonda, fiambo, kula, kula, kari, wambo, kula, chita increase. But Jesus is a healer. Are you ready there? I say, are you ready there? Let me show you something. Something. <laughs> How witchcraft power can be put to zero? Come here, mama. You step your leg where I am stepping until we get to the red mat. The right leg. Follow me. Follow me. The right leg. Jesus, I thank you because you hear my prayers. See for yourself. See for yourself. And nobody should tell you just see for yourself. See how God can heal. And how charm can be paralyzed. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you for healing her. Thank you for setting her free. Thank you for removing the charm from her legs in the name of Jesus. Thank you Jesus for healing her. In Jesus name, clap for him. Amen. Do now your matching. Walk on this red mat. Do your matching. Walk through. Walk through. Walk through. Clap for Jesus. Walk through. Clap for Jesus. Clap for Jesus. Just walk through. Clap for Jesus wherever you are. Put your hands together because you can do better than that clapping. The word of God is now alive. Jesus, he thanked him and Lazarus came back to life. Daddy, just a minute. That is a miracle here, Daddy. My son. Yes, Daddy. You are back, you are my son. Amen, Daddy. And in you, I am pleased. Amen, Daddy. Thank Tell you. me what God has done. That this lady shall sword in the mouth. She had sores in the mouth. Yes, daddy. <laughs> From the time that you prayed for her, she said the pain has gone now, daddy. Ah! Power, power, power. power yeah. Jesus. We can do better than that. We can do better than that. Power, 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 Jesus. Look at your neighbor. Tell your neighbor you are here. You are seen with your two colo colo eyes. <laughs> Put your hands together. <laughs> Something spectacular is happening. Her family now, the yoke of them not getting married is breaking. Put, take her on the red man, take her on the red man, to demon out of her life, out of the family, out of the family. Come out, out in the name of Jesus Christ. It's happening already. Shall we clap for Jesus. Now, let me show you something here. She is standing in the gap of a mad person this tip. But what is going to happen is this. The anointing is going to hit on her. <laughs> the mighty name of Jesus. Touch us, way. Mighty name 
of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you for healing. Accepting that person free from the spirit of insanity. Thank you that your anointing has touched. Amen. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> now wait body hotness and flu hey in the name of Jesus I silence everything the body is like a, a grinding me come very hot uh, touch face. are you because I wanted to be a witness nurse who is a nurse there <laughs> okay, now wait. Come out. Be healed. Be set free. The name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord, for healing this child. Thank you, Lord, for setting this baby free. In the name of Jesus Christ, we have prayed. Temperature back to normal. Healing take place. No flu, no coughing. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you. Daddy, this call is too much, Daddy. Uh -huh. Daddy, the time I tested this baby, the temperature was high, Daddy. But this time, Daddy, the temperature has come back to normal. Yes. Shall uh -huh. we clap for Jesus? Hey, give, the, give the mic to the nurse. I cannot believe it. This is a mystery. As Daddy said at the beginning, the temperature has come to no more by touch. Are you getting the... Hey, mother, touch your baby. Touch, touch, touch your baby. Touch, your, touch, touch, touch. It's fine. It was fine. You are here with your own... Tell your neighbor, go and tell people what you are seeing. That is that money, Daddy. Now, when, I, when we came from this station yesterday, yesterday night, I found her very, the body was very hot. The just started yesterday night. Daddy, this day is saying from yesterday night that the temperature of this baby has not gone back to normal. That daddy, in the twinkle of an eye, the temperature of this lady, of this baby, daddy, has come back to normal, daddy. After your prayer, daddy. This God, daddy, is too much, daddy. Please, a big hand. Sorry, clap for Jesus. Do you experience bad dreams? As I touch this lady, that demon that attacks you in the night, giving you bad dreams, is evaporating in the name of Jesus. It's running away in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, receive the healing. Be healed in the name of Jesus Christ. Be set free in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. It's not the baby eating soil, it's you. Okay? You love eating soil. And there's somebody there, you love eating, eating soil too much. You have even soil in the handbag. You have soil at home. I rebuke that soil in the name of Jesus. That snake spirit attacking you of eating soil. I rebuke it out of your body and out of your life. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Jesus. 